All right, still top balancing bank two. Uh, and it's been 97 hours, so just over four days. And we haven't gotten very far. The whole last day, for, so for almost a full 24 hours now, that's only gone, gone up two, maybe three millivolts. How can you make it go faster? Um, well, I'd have to have a power supply that did more than 10 amps. Um, 10 amps is what's slowing it down right now. The other thing we can do is kind of give up on this and actually put it in the correct configuration for the 24 volt battery battery and put the BMS on it. Mm. So do you want to do that? That is the BMS. So that, that we're going to have to hook the um, this side to the battery, minus. This side is going to come out of the battery like a regular battery um, negative cable uh, if you hook it up to a replacement battery. Yeah. So we, when we build it out, the battery is going to, the minus is going to go here from to the cells and then here to our charger. Hmm. What's this wire? That is actually a button to turn it on and off. At some later time when we build a box, I'm going to mount that in the box. And, and what are these cables? Okay, so th the other night after you guys went to bed, I did spend some time and crimped on all these connectors. This is, these are two, they go actually plugged in right here. Hmm. Those are to monitor each and every cell. So I already crimped all the connectors on, so I should just be able to quickly go through, reorganize the cells, and then start bolting it together. And then the hardest part is I have not made the wires that are gonna go from the battery negative to that the BMS yet, or mm. that, or off the BMS out to the charger. So I gotta crimp on a couple wires there. So that's what we're doing next. Mm. Okay, so we already took the power supply off. Now I gotta unbolt the probes. Uh, then we get the multimeter out of here. Then we can start reconfiguring this. Feel free to ask any questions while we're going through, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. But all right, so these are not going to be all that super tight. So once I get them broken loose, you can always go through and just start unscrewing them. Okay. I like this battery because there's two posts per terminal, but the problem is that means instead of just 16 to unscrew, you got 32 to unscrew. What was your question? Um, are we keeping track of which nuts go where? Not really. You don't need to. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> Uh, not right this second. We will oh. do those uh, just to make sure everything's off, and then I'm gonna start talking, pulling these guys off. Every other one first. Just get the top ones off, and then we can pull the pairs off. Okay. Now we have a whole, a whole bunch of extra bus bars right here. Can you actually move the BMS off to the side a little bit? Yeah. And there's. Careful that those screws are not going to be in the way. Where's that one stud that came out, or two studs that pulled out? Okay. Here's. They kind of line up straight. Yeah, there you go. Good job. All right. I have a whole pile. A whole pile of those here. Let's get all those over there. Then we can arrange the battery in the right configuration and then start putting them together. Okay, so when I went through and put the, the stickers on them all, mm -hmm. uh, I put one sticker that direction, one sticker this way. That's because when we go to configure it as an actual battery, 
instead of a whole just group of cells. I'm going to rotate every other one so the stickers are readable from this side. Ooh, that's heavy. It's a bit heavy, huh? Okay, so so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically, when we go to put the BMS on there, the instructions for the BMS always call the negative side the cell one. I labeled it cell eight because when I bought all these cells and I got them in, I scanned each of these barcodes and put them into a spreadsheet. And I started from this one over here and worked my way to this one over here. So that's why that's one, two, three, four. So that's that's why it's all laid out like that. Mm. Okay. Um, let's start hooking up the battery. This place is going to be a position of full battery positive. This one's a position of full battery negative. So we're going to need bus bars. Can I just have a few and then you have yep. a few? Oh. You're going to have a lot more than a few. Nope, nope. I'm going to go over here. This one stays empty. So nothing's ever on this one. So then over, nope, over here. Oh. So you're going to go positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. There you go. I don't really need two more, but I got a lot bunch more. Yep. All right. So we go positive, negative side of that battery. Negative goes to the positive of the next one. Negative to the positive of the next one. Negative to the positive of the next one. All the way down. So we have exposed positive and exposed negative. Mm. All right. So next we're going to get these BMS wires out. Where's that the big loop of red wire that I said I already put the crimps on? <laughs> Oh, it's up here. Ah, you have it. I had it, yep. So the way that this BMS is designed, it's a little bit different than some of the others. This one has nine red wires and the black. So of these nine red wires, you start with the main cell, first cell, negative, which is what I said. It's going to be your black one. So I go like that. It's going to go like that at some point. Um, we're going to straighten these wires out later. The next one would be going to that first cell positive. You can go either side. It, it, I'd like to keep them on the cell it's supposed to be on. You can The bus bar connects both of those, so it doesn't matter if you're there or there. I just want to keep it there. This one goes to that next cell's positive. Like I said, we'll, we'll worry about routing in a little bit. This one? Yeah, you got it. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. And the last one's going to be a little different. Ow. You'll see. Nope, not there. Over one. There you go. And I see we're going every other one. Whoops, I knocked that one off. It's every other one. So we're going to the positive of each cell. Mm -hmm. This last one, because of the way this BMS is designed, that, oh. one, that one keeps falling off. So we're not going to worry about it right this second. But notice I put it, it's, it, it's got a blue one on instead of the red mm -hmm. because there's two wires in there. This BMS mm. needs a full power. This the last one over here is the main power of the whole mm, BMS, okay. and then this one's the one to read the cell. Mm. So, so it's a whole thing. Right. Okay. The whole thing is big. So let's start. The other ones that keep falling off. Yeah, just put a screw on or a, a nut on each one of those. Don't tighten it all the way down. Just stop it from popping, popping off, so we can double check everything. Okay. Get that other one back. I'm gonna get that one. Falling off. Yep. And when you put them on there, so you've noticed, if you look at it, the wire comes out this side. Make sure that that the flatter side's down. I don't, I didn't check all your others. Oh, this one needs to be flipped over. So we'll check. We'll flip them over later. And we're missing one from this. This, this right there. So okay. You can put that one on. I got the full power on. And full power. <laughs> All right. And you want to grab that. And again, let's go through first before we do any tightening. 
make sure that they're in the right orientation. Like this guy, I want to flip over. Okay. Because, okay. I, like I said, I want the flat side of it down. I think you need to flip this one over. Oh, this one's going to end up pulling that whole stud out there. It was cross-threaded. That was all me. All right, flip that over, flat side down. Dada. Yeah. This side was up, so I need to flip it. Sure. Uh, that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Yeah, it was only a couple of them, and I didn't even tell you how to put them on there, and we did all but a couple of them good. All right. So, I put these loosely on here, and this is why I didn't want them tightened up. And bring all these wires over to the center here. Now, hold on one second. Let's get this guy around that back end. All right. Looks like messy hair. Messy hair, yep. That's red with a one black strand. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to organize this messy hair a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So to organize this messy hair, I'm going to use electrical tape. Oh, yay! Nothing special, just regular electrical tape. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to sit over here. You going to give me a small piece? Maybe. Wait. I think... What's it? I can't rip that. You can't rip it? Well, it's not a rip thing. Well, do you want to get the get my knife then? Yeah, I'll get it. I'll just start putting little tabs here and then we... It's, it's in here. It's on the pile of tools right behind me, babe. Oh! I don't wear it. I thought it was where it was. No. Alright, so... I'm just gonna. Do you wanna cut it? Sure. Do not cut into that blue of these cells, please. I won't. Okay, so give it a couple inches, like about. Okay. Yeah, about an inch and a half. No. So with this, just kind of poke it in. That's it. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna make a few of these, and then we'll get things set up. Go ahead. Nope, you're doing well because I can't see through your hair. <laughs> Alright, so let's set this down for a second. Okay. And then we'll just start taping these up. I'll take a little piece, like I said. A little piece. I'm just going to get this guy out of the way. Tape him up. Make him look a little bit prettier. Take this next guy. He popped off. <laughs> How did that happen? No idea. Yeah, I don't know either. I probably took them off and they don't even remember it. Mm. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one down one just so it's consistent. Easier. And not all. It's straining and it's straining. Mm hmm. And then this guy is on this one. And then I'm going to take the tape and I'm going to. Kind of get him coming out like that and put the tape on there. So, I, can, I guess I got some more cleanup to do later, but that can happen later. This is just to get things set up and charged. All right, now we can go around and tighten these down. Okay. Ow. It's okay. They only I only want them finger tight right this second because we got to do a little bit. Of measuring, so mm -hmm. all right. Can you hold that up right about there? All right. 
So between the main negative, I'm gonna need like five hands. Do you wanna hold that with your other hand? All right. Scout's nose will help. Scout's nose, okay. Left this one. Looking up at the screen, not looking at it, I'm not getting it in the hole. There we go. We had some voltage. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay, 3.327. Yeah. This one should be double that. It should be 6.66. Nine point nine nine. Thirteen point three two. Sixteen point six five. Nineteen point nine seven. Twenty three and change. Twenty six and change. Watch your thumb so I can see the next one. And it should be also twenty six and change. There we go. Yay. All right, we wired it up right. Yay. That wasn't too hard, was it? No. Now, like I said earlier, though, we still have to get a negative cable. Where's the BMS? To make its way over to the BMS. So I'm going to make it a little longer because I'm going to have a board here when I build the box. And then I'm going to have some standoffs off of the screw holes so this, this Piece of aluminum can get some airflow for cooling so I'm gonna have a piece of wood which is about three quarters inch so about the size of my hand and I'm gonna have a little standoff off of that so the BMS will sit right about there so I have to get a cable made to go from here over and curve down to here mm. all right so that's what we got to do next mm -hmm.